Praise the Lord. Bring out your Bible. I want to talk for a few minutes by next Sunday. I finish it. Amen. And it's a it's a sermon that somebody made a statement yesterday in the wedding. The person made a statement and said he was making a statement to somebody. He looked at it and told the person, he said, I thought that sister is a Christian. I didn't know she was almost a Christian. The topic of my sermon is almost a Christian. Almost a Christian. Almost, you never reach there. When we say almost, almost there, that means you are looking for something. You are searching for something, but you never reach there. You are almost there. Huh? Nearly to be there, but you never reach there. And you claim say you don't reach there. What else? You never reach there. Don't shout at the background first until I finish. You're going to know whether you two don't reach there. Because everybody will know whether they don't reach there or not. Because when you see somebody acting, we are not all talking. We are not looking at your voice. We are looking at your character. We are looking at your character. I make sure everything I do here we balance it with the scripture. I make sure everything I do here we balance it with balanced diet. I told you the Bible is like two breasts in a woman's chest. When you drink from the Old Testament, you drink from the New Testament. Amen. That is why the word of God, when Jesus was on ground, they were reading the Old Testament. When Christ left, the New Testament began. Hallelujah. We do everything to balance the Bible. I am not follow follow Christian. I know they follow follow with the others they do make I do. I do what the Holy Ghost said I should do. Because any man of God you see that uttered his own know the reason why he do his own. And you cannot do it because that one they do. You do what the Holy Ghost said you should do. Amen. Many of us seated down here, we claim that we are Christians. You don't know you are almost there. You never reach there. Amen. You know why? The Bible said, by their fruit, by your character, by your virtue, we will know whether you are there or not. Amen. When the brother made that statement, he said, I thought that this sister was a Christian. I didn't know that she was almost there. I quickly grabbed him. I said, I go preach unto him. <laughs> Amen. And I'm taking my test from the book of Art of Paul's Verse 26. Chapter 26, verse 28. Acts chapter 26, from verse 28. Then Agrippa said unto Paul, Now listen, sister, hold on. This is King Agrippa. King Agrippa, Apostle Paul, was preaching the gospel, and they were angry with him. They wanted to kill him. They were taking Apostle Paul to different type of Gentile kings. Carrying him up and down. Carrying him up and down. And they brought him before King Agrippa. King Agrippa was asking him, why are you doing this? Why do they want to kill you? What do you do? King Agrippa was asking him. See the reply. After Apostle Paul started telling him about Jesus Christ. Telling him about his own faith. 
See the reply of that king. Uh -huh. Then Agrippa said unto Paul. And Agrippa said unto Paul. Almost. Almost. Thou persuaded me to be a Christian. You almost make me to be a Christian. Not that he has become a Christian. No. He almost made me to be a Christian. You almost persuade me to turn for my shrine to be a Christian. You almost persuade me to be a Christian. You almost, Apostle Paul, you almost. And there are many of us sitting down here. You are almost there, but you have not gotten there. Even when you claim that you are there. Praise the Lord. Many of us are going to church. We are not there. Many of us are almost there. But we have not gotten to where we are going. Christianity, the lady first person enter on. When you force somebody to believe in Christ, he will not see the reason of believing in Christ. He is only doing it because you force him to do him. I remember when, when I was a boy, my mother liked fasting. My mother eat fasting. He attended one St. Joseph Chosen Church of God. My mother liked fasting. Every Tuesday is their fasting day. My mother will carry me and force me to fast. No, not even force me to fast. He's keeping me hungry to fast. He's keeping me hungry to what? To fast. Forcing me to do what? To fast. Sometimes I will endure to fast. Why sometimes I will be inside the church grumbling the verse? Why sometimes I will do it with the whole of my heart? But sometimes when he enter, I go, I can't go one kiosk. Go arrange myself. Drink and eat meat pie. And I go still if you own you. Take go drink the coke, eat meat pie. Come sit down for inside church. All the money he gave me for offering, I will use it to go and get myself. That time, if they are giving offering, giving offering, I will do my hand like this. Because I know so my mother watch me. As my mother is watching me, I will do, do like this. I don't put any money on. Why? Because my mother is forcing me to fast. I am not doing it with the whole of my heart. I don't know whether somebody is getting me. I am not doing it with the whole of my heart. But because my mother forced me to fast. If you are here, they force you to come to church. Brother, something is wrong with you. It's not an insult. It's a fact. Then my mother was forcing me. I didn't know the meaning of what she was saying. Because I saw it as if she is forcing me to do what I don't want to do. But now, I know what my mother was forcing me now. It's the fact. I don't know whether somebody is following me. If you hear me, say I hear you. My mother was forcing me to become a Christian. I came out from a family, their church, national. Even up to now, if you go there, you go there. Some people believe, some people, all of, many of us don't find our square root. Praise the Lord. Now listen. When you are a Christian, struggling to live a life, you are not a Christian, you are almost there. I don't know whether somebody said to me. You are almost there. You are coming to church. They are forcing you to come to church. Sister, you are almost there. You are not yet a Christian. You are not yet a Christian. 
You are doing the work of God. Grumbly. I told you something. I said, when you are a giver, you can never complain when you give. If you are a sea sower, you never complain. Except you don't get, I ain't going to make you know so. I don't know whether you understand me. If you are a giver, without somebody asking you, you will give. It's a gift. If you are not a giver, no matter how they ask you, you can never give. True or false? Anybody that is giving, and after you give, you start regretting. You are not a giver. You are not a giver. You give somebody, or anybody who gives you something, immediately you come out, you begin to tell everybody, say, so you give you. You are not a giver. You are just a hypocrite. A giver never grumble. A giver only grumble that, ah, I don't have to give this person. I don't know whether somebody is understanding me. When you are a giver, you say, I don't have to give this person. There are some who claim to be a giver. You too, you are almost there. When you claim to be a giver, oh, church, here's something. When you claim to give, to be a giver, and you give, you are looking for a way to get it back. You are not a giver. You are only playing a tiokwe, a riokwe. I told you something. The thought of our heart is louder in heaven than the words of your mouth. When you are a giver, a giver can never lie. When you see a giver, they can never complain. Every time they see you, the only complaint they complain is that they don't have to give you. That is you where they complain. Praise the Lord. Church, when you are a Christian, you can never complain. Amen. When you see people in the church, somebody is sweeping the church. He's grumbling. You are grumbling. You the sweep and they grumble. You the sweep and they grumble. The first thing I ask, who forced you to sweep up? I don't know whether you understand me. When you begin to sweep, they ask, and they don't bless others now, they don't bless me. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. I don't understand you. Who forced you to sweep? You are not working for the man of God. You are working for what? For God. Allow the person you are working for to reward you. Even though he did not use the word of God, he can use somebody that saw you. Because you know what? He can is the one that will put it in the heart of that person to remember you. When you begin to grumble, you the sweep, you are grumbling. You are not a Christian. You are almost there. You are almost there. You never enter. Because if you are a Christian, you can work for God without collecting one naira. Praise the Lord. Are you a coordinator? Are you a coordinator? You are doing things for God. And you then look another person, whether he, he work or you don't work. You know what? You know there are people that do it. When they can't say, oh, that's not the work. Hey, what do you mean they do? Brother, sister, you are the one that volunteer to go and walk the walk. Why must you look others? Do your own and leave the rest for God. Praise the Lord. As you are walking, as you are walking, as you are walking, do your own. Leave the rest for God. Allow the Lord to reward you. 
that person that is doing it with you know there are people that do high service huh? when they see brother Stanley they call see me they call <laughs> and they don't say my eye they see far before you see near as they come from far don't sight far amen when you are doing like that you are not a Christian you are almost a Christian you are almost you are not there and anytime you see them in the church they are the one dancing the way you see their dance you listen and saw their heart be as they enter ah sister divine no church 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 I got a total And they are not to come fall upon GD. You know one thing about the musicians? They are not to turn upside down. Today, if you turn for Uche, Uche will sing, 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 heaven will come down. Tomorrow, go enter Sister Divine. Sister Divine go sing, heaven will come down. The same Uche where God used to, if you think at the next time, I offense our, offense, offense, barokara. Himself got a struggle to do it to sing. Why? Because he is not a Christian, he's almost there. When you are a Christian, you are always in the spirit. The first one you are in the spirit, the first second one you are carnal. It's not only them, including ministers, everybody, including me, where they are. So everybody, the Bible is touching everybody. And listen, you got one thing you must know. When they preach about you in the pulpit, it is not the man of God, it is the Holy Ghost rebuking you from far. I remember when I was in my former church, my pastor would lambash me. I go, there we are there, they do. One day I caught the revelation as I was angry. I was angry, 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 angry. As I was going, the Holy Ghost said, Why are you angry? Am I not the one that, that rebuking you? <laughs> so I'm the one rebuking you. What you did is he good. <laughs> I said, Only me they talk to myself. I said, mm -mm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Only me was talking to myself. I say, eh. I say, now wow, this is what this man talk not true. Church, the Holy Ghost, once a man of God is in the altar, the Holy Ghost can say anything. And when you begin to grumble that the man of God preach you, the man of God preach you, you do grumble. You don't need to grumble for the man of God, grumble for Holy Ghost. The man of God is only a vessel. Holy Ghost is a spirit. He cannot come down to talk to you. So he go use somebody to reply you. And any time the Holy Ghost reply you from the pulpit, that shows that you are beginning to have problem with God. And that preaching is sounding like a warning. And when you continue, continue, he will allow the winches to get you. Because he has warned you from the altar. I don't know whether somebody is following me. He has warned you from the altar. Church, when you are a Christian, you are to do something for God without looking back. When you begin to do something from God and they look back, you might turn to pillar or salt. You might do what? Church, when we are talking about being a Christian, it's not just by going to church. After all, Satan they enter church. Now Satan don't leave their parlor. And that church is down now. Amen. Now churches are becoming what? Churches now are turning into what? A nightclub. From the nightclub, some are even turning to uh Ihal at town hall. Where they play masquerade inside the church. It's turning inside like that now. Now, it is not for you to grumble. No. 
It is the end time. Satan is at work. He wants to win 99.9 .9 for himself. So Satan is at work. Now listen. When we are talking about being a Christian, listen. It is not by all about going to church. It's not all about saying, I they go church. Brother, you can be a Christian going to church, but the Christianity is not inside of you. Amen. Matthew. Matthew chapter 19. Verse 26. Sorry, verse 16 to 26. Matthew chapter 19 from verse 16. Uh -huh. And behold. And behold. One came and said unto him. One came and said unto him. Good master. Uh, is it uh, Luke chapter 18? The, uh, Luke, Luke wrote it his own. Luke wrote his own. Uh, the young rich ruler. That is how Luke put it. This is Matthew writing his own. Uh -huh. Good master. He said, good master. What good thing shall I do? He said, what good thing shall I do? That I may have eternal life. That I may what? That I may what? That I may what? He said, what will I do to have eternal life? The man was not looking for miracle. The man was not looking for healing. The man was looking for what? Eternal life. He's a rich man. A very powerful rich man. With his money, he can buy anything in the world. Go to the best house. Get, get the best house, anything. But the Bible said what? The man said, what will I do to get this eternal life? There are many of you sitting down here that want to get eternal life. You could not get eternal life because eternal life is looking at you, but you cannot grab it. You know why you cannot grab it? Because of the things of the world. Uh huh. Verse 17. Verse 17. And he said unto him, And now Jesus replied him, He called him good master. And Jesus replied him, why callest thou me good? Why are you calling me good? There is none good but one. Nobody in this head is good. Including the person condemning you have no good. Nobody is good. Why? He said there is only one that is good which is almighty God. Uh huh. But if thou will enter into life. He said if you enter into life. Keep the commandment. Keep the commandment. Huh? What did he say? If you know you must go to heaven, keep the commandment. Is it what? Uh huh. Verse eighteen. Verse eighteen. He said unto him. He said unto Jesus. Which? Which? Jesus said. Uh huh. Jesus now reply. Thou shalt do no murder. Uh huh. He said, don't kill. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Don't commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Don't steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Verse 19. Uh -huh. Honor thy father and thy mother. Honor thy father and thy mother. And thou shalt love thy neighbor. And as thy love thy neighbor as thyself. Now listen. This are commandment. I made a statement on Tuesday. I said, You cannot go to heaven. Or you won't go to heaven because you know they fornicate. You know they lie. You know they do this one. That you say if I don't fornicate, I don't go go heaven. If I do this, I'm not going to go to heaven. No. As a seed of God, when you fall to that, God will punish you. You will receive the punishment here. You know why you will go to heaven? You will go to heaven because you receive eternal life. You accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. For God so loved the world, He gave, He gave eternal life. And He said, Whosoever so, accepting eternal life is not everybody sitting down here that will accept that eternal life. That King Agrippa saw Apostle Paul that want to dish out eternal life for him. He saw eternal life. Apostle Paul was ready to give him eternal life. 
and he hala he said something he said you almost persuade me to get eternal life <laughs> I don't know whether you understand me. You almost persuade me to get eternal life. Because if that man become a Christian, it's eternal life automatically. So he said, you almost persuade me to get eternal life. So that everybody going to church is like that King Agrippa. There are people that sound like King Agrippa. They, they see eternal life, but they cannot get that eternal life because of waiting what they love so much. What do you love so much? Now in God go carry your deliverance, go keep. <laughs> a lady. I think I've said the story here. A lady was looking for her husband. He was approaching 44. Few years to become to enter menopause. In fact, in fact, is her her message was even shaking. Of today, tomorrow no go come. But tomorrow you go just verse come. Amen. And now, the lady, he loves trousers so much. One day, a prophet told her, sister, stop trousers. They preached to her. One, no, one evangelist told her, he refused. Another prophet told her to stop trousers. The Lord said, the day you stop trousers, that is the day I will give you a husband. The sister said, Instead, this man will tell me, say, make a stop trouser. Because they say, God, see. And unknown to her, he didn't know that it was God that said it. Now, one day, she refused. One day, she dreamt that a woman used cane be flogging her two legs. Said, You must trust trouser today. You must stop that. Why she could not have? She attend a church where they wear trousers. Trousers. And the woman was watching, was whipping her. You must stop her today. You must stop it. You must stop it. When the girl woke up from sleep, the girl used, he was thinking about it, and woke up, went and gathered all her trousers, and burned it, and went to the market and chattered about sixteen skirts. Now, one month later, he jammed the man. As he jammed the man, I want to marry her. The man said, I don't want to be, I don't want to, I want to travel out and I would like you to travel with me. That is what I want. I don't want the woman who I will marry to remain in Nigeria. I want to travel out with the wife I marry. In three months' time, we're going to do our wedding. And the guy rushed the wedding and applied for the woman for American visa. He has already had his own. They applied for American visa. Luckily, the lady own came out. The guy wedded the woman. Chap chapo. Finished this thing. The guy took in and gave birth to three plates. Two boys and a girl. Now, if that girl did not stop that thing now, she would still remain like that. Maybe maybe the reason God allow her to stop him anytime she wear them some boys they die for root you know there are some men who sabi lay line your jaw who sabi look why some will look at come on eye some go look come on eye why some go they look like this they enter gutter And the person will make you look and you will look now the same thing praise the lord now listen church the man stood before internal life and he said internal life good master and jesus started preaching to him you shall not fornicate you shall love your neighbor as yourself you shall not worship any other god you shall do this i do that those things when you receive eternal life, when you accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior, nothing will make you not to fall into that thing. I don't know whether somebody is understanding me. If you receive an eternal life, you will not fall into that sin. 
I don't know whether you understand me. When you receive Jesus, you will not fall into that. But when you don't receive Jesus, you'll be falling into that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Sister, read on. Verse 20. Uh -huh. The young man said... Unto and the young man said to Jesus, after Jesus don't hammer and salmon. All these things... All these things what they preach for me, so... Have I kept... As I did now, Jesus... From my youth... Hold on. Jesus... All they going to be at church. It has been a long time I've been coming to church, Jesus... There are people who go to church but they don't have eternal life. They go to church every day. They sweep the church. They do everything. They sweep. They do everything. They clean. They don't fornicate. They don't lie. In fact, they can even wear banner to the church. They can even wear banner. The enemy what? Are you talking about me? They can even wear the back from sorrow. Even our own two self. They can even write them. The end time. <laughs> they put them black and blue. The church is only outside. It's not inside of you. The church is outside. That rich long ruler was there. See eternal life. But he's reminding Jesus that he has been going to church all the days of his life. <laughs> because all the church he has been going, they have been preaching, preaching about all these things. Like we enter message, some, there are some of the enter message you go to say, don't keep television in your house. Don't pam, sorry, don't pam. Don't do this. Don't do that. Every day that they hammer them, that they hammer them, that they hammer them. And if you look all of them, eternal life, no day inside them. Just like we here. Upon everything with a hammer here. Upon everything with a hit here. Some people see them saying that men talk. You don't be like when you carry water, they pour for stone. You know, you know they enter inside. It can never enter inside. You are a church goer. You call yourself a Christian. You are almost there. You are not a Christian because everything we say did not enter inside of you. Some will even get provoked. Some will get provoked. Why is Prof talking like this? I'm only making you to see reason to get eternal life. It's a personal decision. Whosoever believe shall have what? Eternal life. Whosoever believe whosoever that has accept Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior shall get what? That man that rich young ruler was standing before eternal life. He was telling Jesus that he used to go to church. He don't fornicate. All these things, Jesus, you are preaching to me. We know it from the beginning. We know it from the day Mama bought me. I'm a religious man. We know it from here. Yeah, Jesus, Mama David. We know all these things you are saying. Prophet, oh, these things you are saying, I don't hear that even from my former church. <laughs> church, there is something that makes you to be a member here. Yeah. And something make you be a member here. Yeah. After all, there are you, you came out from different churches. But there is something you saw that others no get that made you to here. Yeah. I don't know who be the person who is here. If you see, I wave your hand. Uh -huh. There are many of you that saw something that you could not see there. And when you saw it, you said, No, let me remain here because you are a big fish. You are not chupo chupo fish. There are chupo chupo fish. They, they call them Otimbu. 
Tu peux faire des fiches de record de Motimbu. They know how to announce to the big fish that there is a hook inside the rover. But them know they're near there. You know, Chukwe Chukwe fish know they're near there. Ah! It is happening for Kiafa. There's one guy when I be like this. No, Kiafa is there. Eh, one there. Anytime you go there, the guy in a fugo go. Go there, you go see for your eye. Brother, there is prophecy everywhere. Both the good one, both the bad one. Both the ugly one. There is prophecy everywhere. But any prophecy, anywhere there is prophecy without the strong, undiluted word of God. I question the prophecy. I question the prophecy. Because that prophecy, every prophecy must have an anchor from the word of God. If you hear me say, I hear you. Every prophecy must have an anchor from what? From the word of God. Church, if you are a church goer without eternal life inside of you, you are almost a Christian. If you are going to church so that your pastor will not see you, you are almost a Christian. Like some of them yesterday in the wedding, some day, they some day ashamed said they did. Some not even ashamed. Some not get shame. Jezebel is even better than them. Jezebel was even better than them yesterday. I saw it. I made sure I stayed to the end. Man, look, everything finished. Jezebel was even better than some of them yesterday. Some bent, 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 resemble whom I have masquerade. Am I lying? Now only God knows whether because of all that they made they cover their body. It's possible. Because as they shifted from dressing, they enter painting. And the one who passed through me, passed me, say, somebody paint, paint, paint. You don't look yourself for me or whether I find before they come out for public. At least when you paint, you go look yourself whether you find. And the first impression you give yourself in the mirror shows that so you go be. Somebody paint, paint, do that. You don't know if you come under that, you're going to look for for root. Some, some, some of them will carry this. They'll do it like this. You don't know you look like a dog. If you like, bend your face and they see you. I'm only making you to see reason of eternal life. How can you come to church? Everything we are saying here, we are pouring water in a stone. And some of them say, eh, I don't understand this in a church. I'm not going to come again. I'm going to give you a problem. I'm going to make you come back a second time. If you are hearing the word of God and there is no symptom of changes inside of you, there is one thing. Either you are a serpent seed. Serpent seed is the one that refuses the word of God. Because when God spoke to Cain, Cain rejected the word of God. Cain rejected the word of God and do his own will. I mind my brother's keeper. Something is wrong. May you never be a serpent seed. Not do it because of prof. Do it because of internal life. If you receive internal life, everything about you will change. It's not because of prof or because of understanding. No, or because of the man of God. You will do it because everything about you will change. 
to glorify God Almighty. And eternal life is coming from where from it must start from where you live. There are many of you where you live, you can't even say, you can't even preach. Because they don't say your character no good. <laughs> Anytime you sing, you carry your Bible, go out from your compound. When you come to collect your people. Remember, landlady goes, hey, kill Because where you live, nothing to show for it. That you have eternal life. The young rich ruler reminded Jesus that he's always going to church. He keep he don't fornicate, he don't lie, he don't cheat, he obey his mother and his father. I keep all this from the days of my youth. Since I'll be going to church, man of God, this is what I have been keeping. This is what I have been keeping. But I have been a church goer. I have been keeping it. Man of God. In fact, where I come from, well, I was the mother in Israel. Man of God, I was the one that even sponsored the whole church. If you like, sponsored the whole church without the internal life inside of you. It's zero. It's zero. Praise the Lord. If even though you sponsor the church, you must have the fear of God in you. The fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. How can you say you go to church? No single atom of fear of God. How can you say you go to church? Church. That young rich ruler look at Jesus Christ. He didn't know that that is eternal life standing in front of him. Oh, I think I will close it on this. Hey. Eternal life standing before many of us here. But many of you are rejecting that eternal life. You are clicking to the things of the world. Even when your heart rejects it, but you yourself is forcing yourself. Your flesh is forcing you to embrace it. Internal life is a strong weapon. Internal life. Woman being don't supposed to supposed to hustle for eternal life. I told you, in the Garden of Eden, you don't supposed to hustle for eternal life. If Adam give birth to Adams, eternal life will become automatic receive. That is what God set and target. Instead of men to get eternal life, he went and corrupt the womb of the woman. That was what he planted. He planted a corrupt seed inside the womb of a woman and injected it there. Adam came and injected his own. The seed of God and the seed of serpent, there must be a separation. That is why God said, No. I can't leave men to die without eternal life. And God has to come by himself. The Bible calls him second Adam. He has to come by himself and create a body for himself. As the seed of the woman. In Galatians chapter 4 verse 4. He created and entered inside the womb. The same womb set and corrupted. He went and entered the same womb. And dwell among us. And they call him Emmanuel. They call him Emmanuel. People see eternal life walking in front of them. But they are thinking, how can I stop my tumbo? I cannot stop my henneking. So when I see my henneking, when I see my tumbo, when I see my cannot go to shower house, I am a man of God. I have a useless friend who lives in Viroya Aram. Sorry to say, I call him useless friend. Who look at me one day and told me, say, man of God. Chai, wegi. So, I I Very just friend. He has too much money. If 
fact, he was the one that bought two cars for me here. He said, Hey! He said, Man, I'll go back, I'll go back, I'll go I came, he said, I'm going to see Solomon with your two. And I told Taisi Abosso Solomon Naya Luna one thousand. Now that guy a bull on way out. That guy don't kill himself. He said, I will not blame him if you go David. David, papaya. <laughs> he said, David, hey, now that guy won't you be through the team. But Chideke Nyeri Nye are free of charge But all about Pastor Chideke He now go and offend God Almighty By killing that soldier And took the shepherd I said so him up my scripture Man of God I got my man scripture I said so you know your scripture I said why would I know my scripture He told her tell me man of God But can work in her I bet come 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 man of God I came <laughs> I was laughing I came He said but if somebody get money for this life, he no put you woman, he no drink, he no do this one. He will go take go. He said that the sweet of money be this who you no put you woman, you no drink, you no flesh. So what do you want take the money to now? Or we run a yenda mala. Now to carry and go to give village people. He said, man of God, this one that is sweet, oh. I said, oh God. <laughs> I said, you need Holy Ghost. <laughs> he said, man of God, they want to go me at 80. <laughs> Very idiot friend. <laughs> Very idiot friend. Anytime December here, you will send me hundreds of bags of rice to give to my church. But if you see him, you can never see him enter church. <laughs> but he do everything for church. I think some of you saw him the day he came here. One man that came here for election something. Now the man why they talk with that too. <laughs> but anytime you see him, he reads his Bible at home. Amen. As you see him like that, you can never see him. Say, he will not read his Bible. Quote any scripture, he will answer you with Bible. He told me, he said, man of God. He said, man of God. That was the other of his friend. As he was talking, another one came. He said, man of God. Leave this, my friend. He said, man of God, put me for prayer. He was talking like this. Who? Put me for prayer. Say they, if they are selling condom and because of him they sell them. He said, Money, when he does pay for condom, don't reach to be three story beauty. I told him, I said, Brother, you need the Holy Ghost. I said, You need the Holy Ghost. Don't laugh at that man. Many of you sitting down here is like that man. Many of you is like that man. Your own, you won't do it secretly. No. You don't laugh at anybody who committed sin because all of us are almost the same thing. There are people that are quick to stone a sinner. You commit one sin, they are carrying stone, one stone you. A woman in the Bible, when they carried the stone, wanted to stone that woman in the Bible. And Jesus Christ saw them. He said, If any of you have not committed sin, stone this woman. People that want to stone that woman, they are church members, oh. They are church goers. They are pastors among them. They are sisters among them. They are pastors among them that want to stone that sinner. But Jesus Christ said, If any of you have not even gossiped, even get anger, even fornicate or commit adultery, stone the woman, and all of them take one by one. Anyone with a measure in case go take that through. Oh. Anyone with a Jesus measure, oh, go take that through. Oh. 
Anyway, Jesus, I mean, throw it on. Jesus Christ said, you see, everybody has forsaken you. But I, Jesus, has not forsaken you. From that day, that woman gave his life to Christ. He embraced eternal life. There is no type of sin you find yourself that eternal life cannot wash away. You are not yet a Christian. You are almost a Christian. You are almost. You are not yet a Christian. Some people go to say, wait till this one they talk about. Because, 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 because. Yes, you will sound like that. Because anything I say doesn't mean anything to you. But there are people that he means something to. See what Jesus told that man. Uh -huh. Verse 20. Verse 20. The young man said unto him. The young man as a church goer said unto Jesus. All these things have all been these things I'll be hearing from the pulpit. From my youth. From my youth, I've been keeping them. What lack I yet? What will I lack? Verse I yet. Uh -huh. Jesus said unto him. Now Jesus entered the real message. Uh -huh. If that will be perfect. He said, if you say you are perfect, there are many church members. Anytime you see them, they believe they are perfect. Hello? How many of you know there are people who believe they are perfect? In fact, anytime you see them, they begin to display anointing. Anytime you see them, they display anointing. One day, I was reading Brother Abraham's sermon. Brother Abraham called for, for altar call. Who want to receive the Holy Ghost? So one woman came out. As the Holy Ghost fell upon the woman, the woman started, uh, 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 the Holy Ghost, I see Holy Ghost or speaking in tongue. The woman started speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue, speaking in tongue. The woman stood up. As he was started going, believe she had received the Holy Ghost. But Abraham said, Call me back that woman. Neither you have not yet received the Holy Ghost. That taught me another sermon. Speaking in tongues is not the evidence of the Holy Ghost. You are not perfect, my brother, my sister. You are seeing vision. You are not perfect. You do healing and deliverance. You are not perfect. Somebody say, talk to me. I'm concluding. You are a church goer. You swim the church. Or you stand up and lead us in chorus. Sinking. Power. Came down. Sister, you are not perfect. You are not yet perfect. Anytime we see you, uh, before they talk, you do shake karamama, take kepoku. Before you know what happened, you should tell, say the Lord. Sister, keep quiet. You are not yet perfect. Anytime you read, you, 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 you lead prayer, there is fire always come down. They even tag you a nickname. Brother, you are not yet perfect. You prophesy. Miracle happen. Things happen. Brother, sister, you are not yet a Christian. When I say perfect, meaning you are not yet a Christian. Are you a prophet? Power, come down anytime you handle mic. Brother, you are not yet a Christian. I will tell you when you will be a Christian. You are not yet a Christian. I'm talking to everybody, including myself. You are not yet a Christian. Anytime they talk to you through the altar, you go the verse. You be wrought while huh? you are not yet a Christian. You are not yet a Christian. He said, Man of God, he told the man, he said, He said, My brother, you are not yet perfect. You are not yet perfect. You keep all these things. You are not yet what? A Christian. You are not yet perfect. And the man was looking at Jesus. Now, here the next sentence. If that will be perfect. If you be, first of all, he said, You are not yet a perfect man. He said, Now, if thou will be what? Perfect. Uh -huh. Go and sell that thou hast. If you say you want to be a Christian, if you said you want to become a Christian, go and sell all you have. Brother, if you want to receive eternal life, there is a price to pay. There is a price to pay. 
You can't just enter internal life like that. Brother, internal life. When that young ruler was looking for Jesus, he was not looking for miracle. And anytime God gives you miracle, brother, he will leave you. Have you ever seen everybody Jesus Christ heal in the Bible? He healed them what? Free of charge. He not talk anything. And nobody asked question. Eh? And he said, that woman that touched the garment, his garment, he said, he, he said, Madam, your faith has made you. The woman that brought the, her own daughter, that he said, the chrome that fell from the master table. And he said, Madam, go, your faith has made you. All of them, one by one, he never preached about eternal life for them. He only tell them to go. But when this one come for eternal life, he give him condition. He give them miracle with that condition. Because that is the children's meat. It's the benefit of a Christian. Miracle is your birthright. From the cross of Calvary is your birthright. You need it automatically. But there is no condition attached to it. He even went to the scripture and said, freely you give, freely you receive. But when it comes to eternal life, he put a condition. There's a question mark. Whosoever that believeth is a question condition. I don't know whether somebody's hearing me. If you hear me, say, talk to me, my brother. It's coming over me now, but I'm trying to hold myself. There was a condition place. He placed a question mark when he was giving you, healing you for sickness, giving you miracle, giving you a new job. There was no condition attached to it. But when he came to eternal life, he said, whosoever that Delivered is a personal decision. If your mother force you come to church, or they, they force you, your wife force you, your husband force you, sister, brother, you are not yet a Christian. You are still hustling to be a Christian. I don't know whether somebody's hearing me. If you hear me, say I hear you. I hear you. He said, he said, young man. You need to be perfect. You are not yet perfect, but you need to be perfect. Now, see what he said. Uh -huh. Go and sell that thou hast. He said, go and sell. You see the condition. Church, do you see condition? He gave the man condition. He said, go and sell all you have. Uh -huh. And give to the poor. And give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. Hold on, let me take it. There are two things there. There are two things that is hidden there. Number one. If you have money, you don't remember God. Your money is useless. Your money is useless. When you have money, there is a need in the church. You kick off. Or your power from Father's side begin to give you thought of not giving. You have a problem. That man has money, but is not giving it to the, to the church. Is not given to the poor. Brother, having money is not till you become a millionaire. It's how many people you helped. How many souls do you touch? How do you support the gospel? How many people do you help in the church? And church, listen church. Let me stand in the pulpit and say this. See, when you come here, there are people that are called Babialas. Anytime you see them, they are always alligating. Balance around Lolo shop. Or Sister Ify shop. Watching for those who come with a better car. When you come like this, they come and tell you, hey, my Pekin. Anytime you come out to so they come and tell you, my Pekin, I never, my Pekin never pays school fees. You don't pay school fees. I start trying to pay the school fees. First, you went born and not go pay his school fees. Some people are afraid to come to church. It's in every prophetic church, not only here. When you come here, anybody ask you, tell and say, go meet prof. You go wrong. How can somebody come to church? People will block you outside. That means you don't have mission of serving God. Your own is to go. When somebody wants to help you, the Holy Ghost will direct the person to help you. The person will look at you and see reason to help you. It's not you going to force yourself to meet up. 
from today, anybody that block you at the door, so make you help him. Send the person away. How can somebody come? A woman was telling me, he said, I could not come to your church again. The one you give me, give me, they pursue me. I've sent some people to watch out for that people. I get police will go give them 24. Anybody who beg you something, or no, you come and tell us, I beg. You are not supporting the gospel. You are making them to send some people away. Anytime they come out to so you see them block them and they can't. You can't be better to go check them. Babiala spirits. Somebody will come to church. They will do give me, give me. As he's begging you, he don't beg ten people. He's calling one thousand from you. He has collected one thousand for other making ten thousand. We go take go home. Including one castle. They are on and was passed. Please report that person to me. Or send that person away. You know, the funny thing is that. The punishment we're going to give the person way back and you will no talk. We're not going to see the same punishment. Because when Phineas, <laughs> when God was punishing the children of Israel, they killed about 100 or something people. And Phineas, one of them, they were thinking, they were asking God for mercy. One of them went and still got a finish uh, carryover. He went and still be enjoying the woman. They, they went and ate with the children of Edom. And the anger of God came down and smote all of them. Many crowd died. And he remained one. One was still going to sleep with the fine woman. And Phineas saw it. The judgment of God is upon the children of Israel already. Moses was confused in number 25. Moses was seriously confused with what to do. And Phineas saw that one on top of the woman. He took a jambalin and killed the woman. Killed the man. He took the man for back. He came out for the back of the woman. And the Bible said, God counted it for righteousness. The anger of God bah, stopped immediately. He said, because of the action that Phineas took, I have forgiven you all. That means there are people that stand for truth. You go see something, you go close mouth. Get, don't worry. Laba -laba go soon catch you. By the time you catch you, you tell me, Nathan, I don't go fit talk. Because when you see the truth, you're supposed to talk. A man, no talk. Oh, no go That means you are not fighting for the house of God. You want the house of God. Even Jesus, when he entered the temple, he saw them doing bazaar inside the church. What did he do? Send them away in my father's house. House where Solomon used how many years built. Somebody coming there, they say dove. They say Ethiopia, okay. Going, going, gone. You are not a Christian. When you have a problem, there is a way to handle it. Not be begging up and down. Begging up and down. Making people to run. Before they run, you go run first. Praise the Lord. Church! That is why we said, I create a, 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 a vacuum. I said, that is where you see us sometimes. We said, support the needy. So that we can use from there to be helping these people. I do all I can as a pastor because you must never please everybody. And you must never answer everybody. You do the one you can. But there are, there are some people, that one a cause. Even though you give them now, you can never reach them. They will come back tomorrow. It's not a Christian. It's almost there. It's almost there. It's almost there. No, 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 no. It's a very wrong spirit. Somebody say, I hear you. It's a very wrong spirit. As a Christian, internal life, there is a price to pay. There are people that come all the way from Aja to this place. It's a price. People come all the way from Agege. It's a price. But you will live for back of here. Your own ain't the cause problem for such church. Church, I tell you the truth. Jesus looked at that man. He said, Sell all you have. There was a condition concerning eternal life. You know what the Bible says in the book of Matthew? He said, Broad is the way. 
that due to what? Destruction. But he said, narrow. That one that gives eternal life is very rough. It's very rough. It's not straight. It's rough. Compared there and where where you go pass trial, you go follow agony, you go do things that will make people hate you because you are fighting for the truth. When you are fighting for the truth, get ready, people will hate you. And don't please anybody. There was some group one time that was here before that wanted to scatter the church, but I Stanley fought them. You know, me and they inside my office, I don't know what they happened for outside. They fought them very well. They are the one that started spoiling his name. You know, when you do bad things, they rebuke you. You don't go like that person again. I don't know whether you understand me. Church, this is the church of the Holy Ghost. Inside church, they're not supposed to get PPP and APC. So we are one faith, one body, one love, one spirit. Not this is for Apollos. This is for Paul. When you do that, the spirit of any by any is, uh, is upon you. The spirit of your community. It's only in community they do that kind of thing. This one is for Catholic. This one is for Ndamala. This one is for Pentecostal. You know, there are some people who go to a Catholic, they say, uh, I told them that, yeah, I'm dead Catholic. Uh, uh, we tell them they're Catholic. You are not a Christian. You are almost there. How can you be in the church? This one, this one, this one are your own person. The rest not be your own person. Abi? Abi? You are not a, yet a Christian. You are only getting nearly to a Christian. I have finished it now. I close from there. Uh huh. And give to the poor. He said, Give to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven. He said, When you give to the poor, to the poor, he said, You will have what? There is no how you bless your church. Don't wait until somebody say, Church, say, Give me this. If you have it, it lays in your heart. Do it. You see somebody that are, they need something. You use your hand and give to the person. Not willingly, not the person using or a man of God forcing you to come and give. No. When they throw it open, no. You can come out by yourself or you sit down. There are many of you who pledge to pay in a problem. Praise the Lord. You are only hanging something on top of your head. Praise the Lord. He said, sell all you have and do what? And give to the poor and follow me. <laughs> you see now, eternal life is very rough. To get it is very hard. To get it is very hard. When he said, Give to the poor, the man, what did the man do? Read me the Bible and come and follow me and sell it all and follow me. Uh -huh. Verse 22. Verse 22. But when the young man heard that saying, and when the young man heard the saying, he went away sorrowful. And he went away what? Sorrowful. Uh -huh. For he had great possessions. For in land and plenty things, the man lacked revelation. The man lacked revelation. Jesus was not actually telling him to sell all his property. Jesus was only telling him that upon all this, no commit adultery, no fornicate, no do anything. Honor thy father. You keep all of them. There is one thing you lack. Charity. Jesus was only telling that man that he lacked charity. He did not say you should sell your property. Do everything. Because even Jesus needed it in his, in his kingdom. He did not, he did not say you should sell it. The man lacked charity. The man doesn't help the poor. The man doesn't help his church. He doesn't do anything. He's only a church goer. If you don't do so, you are almost a Christian. You are not yet there. No revelation. The man lack charity. Uh -huh. Continue. Verse 23. See the answer. Then said Jesus unto Then said Jesus. Verily I say unto you. Verily I say unto you. We're not talking to the disciples. That a rich man shall hardly enter into the kingdom. He said it will be hard for a rich man who don't give out will enter the kingdom of God. A rich man who don't give out it will be hard for that man to enter the kingdom of God. Because when you give 
when you support your church you are only doing what getting treasure in heaven and see the answer of the, 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 the disciples uh -huh. verse 24 and again I say unto you uh -huh. it is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle uh -huh. than for a rich man to enter into the kingdom of God uh -huh. see the answer of the disciples when his disciples heard it mm -hmm. they were exceedingly amazed they were exceedingly amazed saying, saying who then now who will go enter inside this kingdom of God even we will they follow you now uh -huh. but Jesus beheld them and Jesus answered them and said unto them and said unto them with men this is impossible he said with men to give is impossible but with God all to things God all things is possible, possible. To men, it takes hard to do this, to do it. But with God, if God is inside of you, internal life inside of you, you will do it without grudgingly. Oh, somebody cast something. I don't know whether somebody is hearing me. You will do it without grudgingly. Church, there are many of us sitting down here. You are not yet a Christian. You are almost a Christian. Nearly. You want to be a Christian. You are not yet there. And we fight and contend for the faith that was once delivered to us. Church, no matter how you fight for the faith, you are almost there. You are not yet there. You know what the Bible says? Let's hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear God and keep his commandment. God bless you till next Sunday.